This is Huawei's latest MateBook E. It's an interesting two-in-one laptop that's the definition of both powerful and portable. I'm M. Kwan, and I've been using the Huawei MateBook E for the last week, and here's what you need to know about it. So to begin with, this device feels like Huawei have actually thought about portability and function. On first glance, it looks like a tablet. It's incredibly thin at around 7.99 millimeters and weighing in at around 709 grams. So it makes it easy to use one handed in this form as well as carry around. Now, if you've been looking for a Windows 11 laptop that's ultra portable for work or travel, then I think the MateBook E is a serious contender. The tablet form works great with Huawei's M Pencil, which adds another way of getting the most out of this device for sketching and note taking. And the display on this is an OLED, Huawei's full view display that's vibrant with its sharp colors and brightness. It's got an impressive 90% screen to body ratio and supports a wide P3 color gamut. So changing it into a laptop is super easy using this case that doubles as a keyboard, touchpad and stand system from Huawei. I like how thin the case is despite having a comprehensive keyboard and touchpad incorporated right into it. Though hopefully in the next version, I'd like to see Huawei change up the stand to give us more angles we can adjust it to and also a keyboard that has a backlight. So the Huawei MateBook E comes powered by Intel Core processors, with mine being the i5 variant and Intel Iris Xe graphics. And you can get these 16 GB RAM configuration with up to 512 gigabytes of fast SSD storage. Now it's running Microsoft 11 right out of the box, and it's the first MateBook to do so. And I like how both the OS and the additional software tweaks are optimized for touchscreen experiences. And Huawei also have a number of additional software features that are really useful for those looking for device management. Management. Huawei are pivoting this device as a three inch screens in one laptop. So you've got both the tablet, the laptop mode, but also a third in the form of a smartphone mode. With a simple tap of your Huawei smartphone on the touchpad, you get what Huawei refer to as one super device that allows more control between the different Huawei devices. So you get to focus on one screen and use both devices as required. With a simple drag and drop, you can obviously share documents, photos, and videos between devices. What's impressive is that this doesn't require an internet connection, so you're able to get multi-screen collaboration and even use files on your phone on the MateBook E like it's another folder. It's pretty cool, and I think this is going to be really helpful for a whole range of productivity and entertainment scenarios. So talking of entertainment, the Huawei MateBook E also features an impressive pair of speakers that give you a multi-dimensional audio experience thanks to this high bandwidth of the quad speakers. And there's also a front and rear HD cameras and four microphones along with useful AI noise cancellation. So all of this will help clearer and better quality video calls on the device. Now, battery life experience has been a little mixed for me. It features a 42 watt battery and Huawei include a 65 watt portable charger. It's very small. Um, this gives you about 50% charge from zero in around 30 minutes. I was able to get around four to five hours worth of heavy use and testing while using the MateBook E, but as always, you know, more battery life is welcome, but battery life will also depend heavily on how you use your PC individually. So something to be aware of. Look, all in all, I think the Huawei MateBook E is certainly a serious contender, a laptop for those of you that are keen on portability and functionality with this three in one screens. You've got good software tweaks and obviously it's running Windows 11 as well. I'll be posting pricing information and availability in the comments below, but let me know what you think of the Huawei MateBook E in the comments. And if you found this video helpful, check this other video out here. M Kwan over and out, peace and blessings.